Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another Creation Club mod review. And I've been asked to have a look at the Rare Curios mod. And is it worth 100 credits? Now, I thought this would be a quick video to do, but boy was I wrong. So, as usual, I'll go through as much as I can and give my thoughts at the end. So buckle in, there's a whole heap of stuff to go through. But before we start, I have to say the purpose of this video is to tell you what you get with the mod. I haven't had a chance to check every effect or every ingredient due to pure lack of time and quantity of the stuff. Um, and I will do an update video as soon as I get a clearer picture. Sorry guys, I just didn't have the time. But I have included as much stuff as I possibly could. So let's crack on. Okay, a quick FYI, I've left a link in the description that takes you to the Skyrim wiki which lists a lot of this stuff and I think you'll find it a really useful reference. Um, okay, so to keep this in order, we'll start with the Khajiit. Now, all the ingredients are only available through Khajiit caravans and I'll quickly go through these. Now, there are three Khajiit caravans. Uh, Madran's caravan's route runs from Windhelm to Solitude. Madran is accompanied by two guards, Machad, I think I don't even pronounce it, and Rosinda. Uh, Mjohad also offers training in lock picking up to level 75 or expert, and uh, Mahad or Machiad also becomes a fence. Resad's caravan route travels back and forth between Markarth and Whiterun. Uh, Resad is accompanied by Atabar and Marandru, uh, Joe. The trio is protected by Kalia, who also offers training in sneak up to 50, which is adept. Uh, Resad and Atabar can both become fences. And a quick FYI, you can't travel uh, or wait at this point in Markarth for some reason. It just shows enemies are nearby. Uh, you have to move away a short bit before you can do either. And finally, uh, Arkari, who follows the route between uh, Dawnstar and Riften. Akari is accompanied by Zainabi, and I'm getting these all really wrong, <laughs> and the pair are protected by uh, Dro Marash and Kajo. Um, Akari also offers training in pickpocketing up to level 50, which is adept, and Dro Marash offers training in speech up to level 50, again adept. Uh, Zainabi can become a fence, and Kajo is also available as a follower provided his stolen moon amulet is retrieved from the bandits who took it. Now a quick tip here guys, uh, finding these caravans can be pretty damn tricky. So to make this caravan, Akari's caravan easier, I would strongly suggest you do Kajo's quest because once you have his amulet and what you do is you don't give it back, all you have to do is activate the quest and you'll get a quest marker giving the caravan's location. Um, this is, as far as I know, the only caravan you can do this with, but it's your choice if you want to do that or not. And you get the quest simply by asking him if our bandits are giving him trouble. You are kind to offer. We believe the bandits are part of a group headquarters. I've never actually used him as a follower, actually, but I've heard he's, uh, he's definitely not the worst. Okay, so you've got the the, uh, the quest, now you go and do that, and what you do is you don't give his amulet back. So you go into miscellaneous quests, find Kajar's, um, Kajo's caravan, okay, hit your map, and there should be a quest marker telling exactly where that caravan is. Now, you're going to see later why this could be so handy. Yeah, you'll see for yourself why this is so handy, it's definitely worth doing, but uh, as I said, it's entirely up to you. Uh, your choice, but I strongly recommend you do. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. It's kind of it's, it's turning into like a, a guide slash review because there's so much to get through. But that side, okay. So now we know where to get the stuff. Let's start with the crafting gear. First of all, are the crossbow bolts. Now it seems you have to have joined the Dawn Guard to craft these, and sadly, Taren hasn't done that and has no intention of doing so. So I'll just give you a rundown on what they are. Now, bear in mind, some of these things may have effects I'm unaware of, um, such as the cork bulb arrow has a chance of paralyzing your target. What that chance is, I don't know. And I'll do an updated uh, video when I actually get definitive figures, uh, but for now, this will have to do. It's worth noting that all of these items are crafted as a forge with firewood and either the appropriate metal ingot or whatever the, no the noted item is. 
bone mould bolt with a damage of 15 can be forged using bone mill and a steel smithing perk. Uh, cork bulb bolt damage fifth, uh, 10 can be forged using a cork bulb route or purchased from a Khajiit caravans. As far as I can tell, these give a chance of paralysing your target. Iron uh, bolts with a damage of 8 can be forged at any level without the need of any perks. Orcish bolt with a damage of 12 can be forged using the Orcish smithing perk. Silver bolt damage of 10 can be forged at any level without the need of any perks. Okay, let's take a look at the cork bolt barrow. With a damage of 10, it can be forged using cork bolt route or purchased from Khajiit Caravan. So you'll need the steel smithing perk, cork bulb and firewood to create these. These give a chance to paralyze the target what that chance is, as I said before, I don't know. Uh, I also don't know yet what perks affect these. Anyway, I took them out for a test drive and the results were pretty interesting as uh, you'll see. Okay, we'll just quickly let one off uh, before we go out. And you can see there's definitely an effect there. So what's that like in the real world? Okay, so we go hunting. And if you look at the top left hand corner, I hit it, deer resisted paralyze. Okay, fair enough. And let's get this mud crab resisted paralyze. White run guard resisted paralyze. I can't get a clear shot. White guard run. White guard resisted paralyze. White guard, white run guard, resist paralyze. White run guard, resist paralyze. Can't get a clear shot. <laughs> And Sophie resisted paralyze, white run guard resisted paralyze. So what the chances are, they seem very small, in fact, ridiculously small. Um, however, I guess there is a chance, but uh, yep, it's worth bearing in mind. But uh, fairly disappointing, if I'm gonna be truly honest. Okay, next up is something that uh, I really think adds, really adds something to gameplay, and that's the poison apples. Uh, poisoned green and red apples, uh, these give apple poisoning of 4 points for 60 seconds uh, using chokeberry and green or red apples. These are made up in the cooking pot and silently harm enemies by placing poisoned apples in their pockets uh, by obviously reverse pickpocketing and I'm guessing these will be affected by certain perks but uh, I haven't actually worked out what yet. Yeah, once you've made them you'll find them in your potions. Uh, 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 section so we'll uh, just take these out for a little test drive now these I reckon could be fun especially if you get decent uh, effects with perks or perks that enhance it okay so what we're gonna do is gonna give them quite a few at one time because four is very little okay give him too much and he'll probably see you okay right let's give him some more I won't give them all 16 at one time. I'll give them, say, five or two for now. Oh, he's not looking very well. Let's give him some more. Is that what I've got? Oh no, that's, that's in his pockets, isn't it? Bloody hell. What have we got? Poison apples. We'll give him six this time. Let's see what happens. Oh no, he wants more. And we'll just give him the five. Hopefully that'll do it. And there you go. One dead guard. I love these and I hope they can be enhanced to give more damage. Because that's an ex brilliant bit of gameplay. And next up is a World Kinstone purchase at Khajiit Caravan. And this just simply... Uh, replenishes all your magic and it's a one-time use okay and they're quite expensive 
So if you see one get one, but as you can see, it just simply replaces your magicka. Actually quite handy. Okay, right, next is the flawed Vala Stone, which can only be purchased purchased from Khajiit Caravans and is effectively the same as a common soul gem except this is refillable if you capture souls. Now this is a fantastic addition to the game and really handy for recharging your weapons. Now I'm going to take this out for a test drive because this is actually quite interesting. Okay we'll kill a couple of wolves. Oh, that's it. I want to. There you go. Wolf, wolf resisted soul trap, and then we got the second one. Brilliant stuff. So, uh, let's just take a quick look. Filled with petty soul. Fantastic. Okay, so let's recharge uh, a couple of weapons here. do see they're still in your inventory and empty so let's go and check them out and make sure they work the second time okay there's gonna be something around I can hear a wolf a big bad wolf and there you go my little sweet pea Okay, soul trapped. Lovely. And let's go and get one more thing. There you go, mud crab. And let's have a look. There you go, these things are refillable. Really handy. Really, really, really handy. That's superb. One of the really good things in this uh, mod. I do like this. And finally on to the alchemy stuff. Now there's 51 items in, in all, uh, as far as I'm aware, and they add in a few new effects such as cure poison, light, night eye, and spell absorption. Absorption, absorption, here's a big word. All of these effects have appeared in the game in some form before, but not through ingredients. Um, now Tareen at the moment is poisoning herself for your information and I'm only going to check on their primary effects not the second third or fourth effects so you guys have to do a bit of experimenting uh, with yourself now I've checked and I you can't plant these ingredients sadly and they're only purchasable through the Khajiit caravans and that'd be important in my kind of closing review Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just scroll through. I won't bother talking about it. Once I've um, eaten one of everything, I'll just sc scroll through and you can pause on the video on any that you find interesting. I just won't obviously give any verbal with it. So I'll catch you on the flip side.
Okay, so finally, what are my thoughts on this mod? Well, there's good and bad. I'll start with the downsides first. Uh, Khajiit caravans are hard to locate on occasions, and I, rare, I know rare is in the title, but the spawn rate is very low. It literally took me hours and hours to collect everything. I must have done the wasting 48 hours thing uh, at least 100 times to get all the uh, items. It would be nice if uh, more ingredients did different things. And I think worst of all is the fact that you can't grow them as it would have been a great bit of gameplay if you could start to cultivate them yourself. And this would have actually negated the slow spawn rate. I think the mod author missed a trick uh, with that one. Also the cork bulb arrows should have had a higher chance of paralyzing your target. Okay. Let's look at the good stuff. Some of the ingredients are really cool and a really interesting dynamic to alchemy. So much so, in fact, I'm actually going to incorporate uh, alchemy into this build. It's something I've never done before. Uh, the poison apples are brilliant. I hope they are affected by perks, etc. Uh, if so, it will make the Dark Brotherhood a lot of fun. The flawed Vila Stone is brilliant for charging weapons and that's a really great addition to the game. And also bear in mind I haven't worked out the secondary effects or perk effects uh, etc have on this stuff. So there could be some surprises around. Uh, all in all, I genuinely think this is a fantastic little mod and when compared to some other Creation Club mods uh, being sold for much more, I think the 100 credits for this mod is an absolute bargain. So would I actually buy this? Yes I actually would. Um, should you buy it? Well only you can answer that but hopefully I've given you enough information so you can make a choice. I hope you like the video guys. See you next vid. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe obviously. Later.